Hello everyone, it's another beautiful blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. It's always an honor to seek Him in His kingdom each and every day, to lift your name up high each and every day. If you're not doing anything right now, just stop for a moment, turn off your TV for a second, put down your cell phone for a minute. If you're cooking, go on trying to finish, finishing up your cooking right now. And let's stop give Jesus some praise right now. Lift his name up high right now. Just thank him for everything he has done in your life. Thank him for what he has done in your life. Thank him for how far that he has brought you in your life. Just thank him when you didn't know how you was going to provide for your family, pay your bills. But somehow, a miracle just happened. Somehow, things just started just coming out of nowhere. Right now, I want you to give him thanks right now. Right now, I want you to start praising him. Right now, I want you to lift this name up high right now and give him the praise, the honor, and the glory right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Just let him know how thankful he is. Let him know how deserving he is. Let him know how faithful and grateful he is. We love you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We honor, we lift, our, lift your name up high today right now, Jesus. We want to say thank you right now today, Jesus. We just want to say thank you for everything that you have done, what you're doing in our life right now, Jesus. We just want to glorify and magnify your holy name right now, Jesus. We just want to praise and worship you right now, Jesus. We just want to say thank you for always being there for us. We just want to say thank you, Jesus. We will have nobody else we can always call and depend on you. We just want to say thank you, Jesus for being our father. We don't say thank you, Jesus, for always saving us. Even though we don't deserve it, you always tell. We just want to say thank you. I just say we just want to say thank you. And we love you in your holy name. Amen. Today's text is Jesus will always have the last laugh. And today we're going to read from Job 12:4. Then we're going to finish off at Job 42, verse 10 through 12. Again, today's text is Jesus will always have the last laugh and we'll be reading from Job 12, 4 and Job 42, 10, 11. Right now, somebody's been going through something. Somebody has lost something right now. And right now, you have people laughing at you right now, telling you you're wasting your time, that God ain't going to come through for you. I don't know why you're doing it for You're never going to have nothing. Right now, you're becoming a laughing star right now. Right now, the same people that you hanging around with, you wouldn't even have an idea. They think these be the people they be putting you down. You wouldn't even think they be, these be the people who be laughing at you. At the end of the day, Jesus always had the last laugh. He always had the, the last say so. And if you're going through this right now today, this message is for you today. Stay tuned and listen to it. Amen. Amen. And before we get started, we always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, we just can't thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful, blessed day today. We can't thank you enough for our health today, our strength today. We can't thank you enough that we're able to praise you and worship you in your most holy place today. We just can't thank you enough for your grace and your mercy, oh, Heavenly Father God. We just can't thank you enough for everything that you have done and what you do in our life each and every day. We just can't thank you enough for our strength. We can't thank you enough that we're able to wake up this morning because of you you the one who breathed breath inside our body this morning. You was the one who pumped blood through our veins today. That's why we're here today. Because of your grace and your mercy on him, Father God. We could have been somewhere else, but you blessed us. You blessed us to see another day. You blessed us just so we can give you the things today. You blessed us so we can give you the praise and the glory today. We just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I said we just can't thank you enough. That's why we're always going to continue to praise you, glorify you, and magnify and shout out your holy name because I said we can't thank you enough, Jesus. That's not enough thank you in the world. That's why we can't thank you enough. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get into this word. Please turn your Bible to Job 12. We're going to read verse 4. That's Job 12. We're going to start off reading verse 4. And if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out, amen. Amen. Let's begin. For I have become a laughing stock to my friends, though I call upon God and he answered, a mere laughing stock, though righteous and blameless. At that point right there, Job became a laughing stock. Why did Job become a laughing stock? If you turn your Bible to the first beginning, 
of the book of Job, you will see that Job had everything that a man can want. But in the midst of that, Job lost everything. He lost his cattle. He lost his ten children. But in the midst of that, it was three friends who laughed at him. It was his wife who ridiculed him too as well. So at that point right there, they laughed at Job. They meant, Job, you need to stop. Job, you need to give up. God not going to do it to you no more. He blessed you one time. He's not going to bless you again. Why are you still praising God? Why are you still worshiping God? Why are you still doing this? At that, at that very moment right there, they started, they started laughing at Job. Even his wife, in verse 2, she told him, say, you need to curse God and die. Job would never do that. Because he knew the same God who blessed him the first time, going to bless him again. That's why Job became a laughing star. He became a laughing star because he believed in God. He became a laughing star because he trusted God. He became a laughing star because he knew the same God who blessed him the first time was going to do it again. Job knew that God was going to come through. Job was seeing things that the three friends couldn't see. Job was seeing, believing things that his wife couldn't see. That's why they started laughing at him. That's why they started making fun at him. They laughed at him because the devil put balls all on his body. He, was, he wasn't even the same no more. That's why they kept laughing like, man, Job, give up. Look at you, you don't even look the same no more. Do you think your God would allow you to go through this? But he did not fall faint at all. He kept on believing. He kept on trusting. He kept on praying because he knew that God was going to come through. Somehow, way, and right now, somebody is going through the same thing right now. Somebody right now has lost something. Somebody right now is going through something right now. And right now, you have some so-called friends who's laughing at you right now. Right now, you have some so-called co-workers who's laughing at you right now. Right now, you have some so-called family members who's laughing at you right now saying that you don't look, you don't look the same. That God ain't going to come through for you. you wasting your time. God ain't going to bless you. I don't know why you're doing this. It's never going to happen. Right now, they think you're the joke of the town. Right now, you are a mere laughing stock right now. Right now, all they want to do is pick at you. Right now, they just want to make fun at you. Joe went through the same thing. I went through the same thing. Right now, somebody right now is going through the same thing. But they can't see what we can see. They couldn't see what Joe can see. They wasn't believing and trusting what I was believing and trusting in. They wasn't believing and trusting what Joe was believing and trusting in. They wasn't believing and trusting what you are trusting in. That's why they're laughing at you right now. That's why they're making fun at you right now. That's why they're ridiculing you right now. Because of that same situation. But they don't realize, at the midst of all of this, Jesus is always going to have the last laugh. Now, I'm going to tell you how Jesus is going to have the last laugh. Please turn your Bible to Job 42. And we're going to read from verse 10. And if you have your Bibles open, ready to receive it, shout out Amen. And let's begin. After Job had prayed for his friends, the Lord made him prosperous again and gave him twice as much as he had before. All his brothers and sisters and everyone who had known him before came and ate with him in his house. So the same one who's laughing at you right now, the same ones who's picking at you right now, the same ones who's making fun at you right now, the same one who's ridiculing you right now, gonna be the same one gonna be in your house, gonna be the same one asking for a favor, gonna be the same one asking for help right now. That's why Jesus always gonna have the last laugh. That's why he always gonna have the last laugh. See, look, Joe went through all of that. But look who's at his house with him. His same three friends who was picking at him. The same three friends that was picking up, even his wife, she was there. And the Lord blessed him, made him prosperous. Again, prosperous means he made him, he made him more than what he had the first time. And that's what Jesus is going to do for you right now. Whatever you lost, he's going to make you prosperous again too. You're going to have more than what you had the first time. You're going to have double in the same ones who's been picking at you this whole time, the same ones who've been laughing at you this whole time, the same ones who tell you that you need to stop, the same ones who tell you that you need to give up, the same ones saying that Jesus is not going to come through for you, you're wasting your time, they laughing at you, they picking at you, they making jokes at you, they're going to be the same one in your face, going to be the same ones with their hand now, they're going to be the same one asking you for a favor. That's why Jesus always have the last laugh. 
And I don't know who I'm talking to today. But this message is basically for somebody right now today. Somebody right now is going through the same thing that Job is going through. Somebody right now is facing the same thing that Job is going through. I know I'm facing it. That's why I sit back because I know the Lord is going to make me prosperous. So if he did it for Job, he's going to do it for me. So if he did it for Job, Jesus is going to do the same thing for you, my brothers and my sisters. He is going to make you prosperous again. You're going to have more than enough. The same ones who are doing what they're doing to you right now are going to be the same one at your dinner table. Going to be the same one blowing up your phone. Going to be the same one sending you 100 emails every day. Going to be the same one sending you text messages each and every day. At the end of the day, my brothers, my sisters, Jesus always, always, always going to have the last laugh at the end of the day. No matter what. The Word of God says it right here. And the Word of God does not lie. That's one thing I know about this Bible right here. This right here is the way, the life, and the truth. It's going to tell you everything. How it's going to happen, when it's going to happen. Right here. Jesus always going to have the last laugh, my brothers, my sisters. They might be picking at you now. They might be laughing at you right now. They might be making jokes at you right now. They might be ridiculing your name right now. They might be putting your name under the dirt right now. But for so long, it's not going to last forever. Jesus is going to let them have their fun for right now. But what they don't realize, you already don't want your battle. You already don't want your race. Jesus is going to make sure that he get the last laugh. Jesus is going to make sure that you will be prosperous again. He's going to make sure of that. So if he did it for Job, he's going to do the same thing for you, my brothers, my sister. Just sit back and you continue to believe and trust and pray to God just like Job did each and every day. You will see how our Father God is going to make us prosperous again. You're going to see that he will have the last laugh. I don't know who I'm talking to today, but if this message is for you today, let's give him praise right now. If you receive this word today, let's give him praise right now. I just want to say thank you, Jesus, for making me and my brothers and my sisters right now prosperous again. Even though we are being laughed at, even though we've been picked at, even though we've been ridiculed, ridiculed, but we know one thing for sure, Jesus, that you will have the last laugh. So until then, we're going to continue to seek you in your kingdom. We're going to continue to praise you. We're going to continue to lift your name up high. But in the midst of all that, we're going to continue to pray for the ones who laughing at us. Laughing at us. We're going to continue to pray for the ones who making jokes at us, who making fun at us, and even ridicule on our name. Until then, we know we know in the mighty name of Jesus, as we claim it right now, and as we receive it right now, that we know that you're going to have the last laugh. In Jesus' name, amen. Do you receive it? Shout out, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Before I close, I would like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life, to take over, to guide me, direct me, use me, so I can build a relationship with you. I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, by y'all praying a simple little prayer, that God is already working everything God in your life right now. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. Just remember y'all, Minister LT, love y'all. Y'all stay blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.